We want to try a couple of examples using scientific notation to make sure that you understand the rules, how to handle the exponents. So the first thing you have to know for multiplication and division, you don't have to make the exponents match. All right. So you multiply the coefficients together and you're just going to combine the exponents on the 10. So in this case, you multiply 7.5 times 4.2. Use your calculator for that. And combine the exponents on the 10 by adding the exponents. For addition, you add the exponents, and that's going to make this 10 to the negative 2. Now you've got to make sure that your answer is in scientific notation. In this case, the decimal is in the wrong spot. I'm going to have to move it one place to the left. And since that number is getting smaller, smaller, the exponent on the 10 is going to get bigger to balance it out. All right, that's how we do the changing of these um, numbers, right? And that's an important skill we use in different ways. When I go to do the division, you just got to remember that the um, coefficients here are going to get divided, obviously, and the exponents are going to get subtracted. So you divide this, and by the way, in most cases, the division is going to work out evenly. You subtract the exponents, you're going to get positive 2. Watch out for that double negative when you go to subtract. So 6 times 10 to the 2. This answer is in scientific notation, no extra steps required. When you do additions the, or subtractions, the exponents have to match. Now in these two examples, the exponents are already matching, so half the work is done for you already. So you just have to add or subtract the coefficients, and you're going to keep the exponent that's on the 10. Okay, you don't have to combine them at all. So in other words, the just like like terms when you're doing algebra, you add the coefficients together, and then you keep that same power of 10. Double check your answer that it's in scientific notation. No problem. The next question, the exponents here are both negative, you, negative 4. You add the coefficients together. You keep that power of 10. Now, in this case, the answer is not in scientific notation. So you've got to move the decimal so that it's 1.7. That number becomes smaller. The coefficient becomes one decimal place smaller. So the exponent goes up by 1, right? And remember, think thermometer. Negative 4 goes up to negative 3. So now let's talk about the one where the exponents don't match. For addition and subtraction, the exponents have to match. So my strongest recommendation, because it saves you an extra step at the end most of the time, is to make both of the exponents match the bigger one. Okay? So in this case, 10 to the negative 2, keep that one the same, and you're going to change the other one. So what do you do to make that 10 to the negative 3 into 10 to the negative 2? The number has to balance out. The exponent is going up by 1, so that in the coefficient, it's going to have to go down one decimal place, one decimal place smaller. Now you subtract those two coefficients, and you keep the power of 10. When we're doing question D, the exponent, the bigger one, is 10 to the 5, so I'm going to keep that 1, and I'm going to change the second number so that it's going to have a power of 10 to the 5. So 10 to the 5 is bigger by two decimal places, so the 3.4 is going to get, get smaller by two decimal places. Do the calculation, and then you keep the power of 10 on your, um, whatever, the, 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 the 10. And then you have your final answer in scientific notation. Good luck with this. You got to practice it a little bit and um, refer to this video as many times as you need.